In this uh, video, we're going to do the January 2013 Decision 1, uh, Question 6 on linear programming. Let's take a look. We're given this picture, figure 6. We are told that Lethner is producing floral arrangements for an award ceremony. She will produce two types of arrangements, celebration and party. Let X, this is key here, let X be the number of celebration arrangements and let Y be the number of party arrangements. Figure X shows three constraints uh, other than X and Y are bigger than or equal to zero. The rejected region has been shaded. Given two of the constraints are Y less than or equal to 30 and X less than or equal to 60, write down as an inequality the third constraint in the figure. Well, clearly, um, that line indicates the Y less than or equal to 30. And clearly, this line represents the X less than or equal to 60. So we're looking for this one here, part A. So it's a straight line. It's going through 0, 0, and it's going through 60, 10. Oh, sorry, 60, 12 even. Uh, make it a bit easier. It's definitely going through 50, 10. Okay, so for this part, for part A, we are using the equation of a straight line, y equals mx plus c. Now, c is equal to 0. Uh, the line crosses the y in, uh, axis. It has a y-intercept of 0. And m, the gradient, is the difference in y's, which is 10, divided by the difference in x's, which is 50. And 10 divided by 50 is simply a fifth. So we would have this, the equation of this line, therefore, is clearly y equals a fifth x. Now we want above oh, and including the line, so we want y for this one bigger than or equal to a fifth x. And you can time both sides by 5 to make it neater. 5y is bigger than or equal to x, and that would be sufficient for your first inequality. Okay, next it tells us that each celebration includes two white roses, four red roses. Each party includes one white rose and five red. She wishes to use at least 70 white roses, 200 red, right down to further inequalities. So, I'm going to actually just take a, a, a photo of this one here, and bring it to another page just to make it a bit easier for us. I find it easy to write out... Uh, what's happening here. So for a celebration, white roses and red roses, you need two white roses and four red roses. And for each uh, party arrangement, you need one white rose and five red roses. Now, say if, I, uh, say if there were X, cele uh, well, it's not X, it tells us, yeah, there are X celebrations. For um, X celebrations, um, How many white roses would you need and why parties? Clearly, how many white roses you, you would need would be 2 times x plus 1 times y. And that would have to be, uh, she wants to use at least 70 white roses, so bigger than or equal to 70. And the other inequality, uh, let's talk about red roses now. How many of those are needed? For, well, 4 are needed for each celebration. So if there are x celebrations, 4x plus 5y, that's how many red roses are needed, must be at least 200, must be bigger than or equal to 200. So our two inequalities there are as follows. Now going back here, they ask us to add the two lines. So if we want to add this line, the easiest way to add each line, uh, for this one, let's make x equal to 0. If x is equal to 0, then y would be 70. And then we would make y equal 0. And if we did that, 2x would be 70, so x would be 35. That gives us two points to plot. So we're going to put 0, 70 and 35, 0. So 0, 70 and 35, 0. We're going to plot these two here. And we're going to label that straight away, that line, as 2x plus y equals 70. Now we want... Oh, bigger than or equal to 70, so we're going to want above the line, so we're going to shade everything below the line, as follows. Okay, so that's our first one, and the next one we're going to do the exact same here. We're going to let x be 0, and then 5y would be 200, so y would be equal to 40. And we're going to let y be 0 next, and x would be equal to 50. So we're going to plot the point 0, 40, and 50, 0. 
So 0, 40, 0, 40 here, and 50, 0 here. Just like that. And it's 4x plus 5y equals 200. So we're going to write that on the line here. Uh, 4x plus 5y equals 200. Now we want above the line, so we're going to shade below the line. So we're going to shade everything below the line here. So our feasible region is there. And we've labelled it for part C and D we've done now. Now it's always helpful with these questions to label each of the vertices. That's A, let's call it. That's B. That's C. That's D. And let's say that's E. It gives us a way of describing what we're doing on the graph, okay? So, um, for the last part, I'm just going to take that to another page just so we've got some space. The last part says that uh, the times taken to produce a celebration and party arrangement are 10 and 4 minutes respectively. She wishes to minimise the total uh, time taken for arrangements. So let's work out our objective function, part E. So for each celebration, it takes 10 mins. And for each party, it takes 4 mins. So if there are X celebrations, it would take 10X. And if there are Y parties, it would take 4Y. And these two add together. That's the total time. So the time is equal to 10X plus 4Y. And we want to obviously minimize this. Okay. Now, part F says using point testing method. They don't want us to use the objective line method. They want us to use the point testing method to find the optimal number of each types of arrangements she should produce. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to find the coordinates of each of these vertices. So vertex A, we're going to have a little table here. Uh, vertex, vertex, we're going to have A, B, C, D, E. And we're going to have the coordinates. And then we're going to have the uh, t. We're going to work out the time at each of those points. So that's the way to do these questions. Now let's think of vertex A. Let's see if we can work out its coordinates. That's here on this line. That's where y is equal to 30. Okay, Where the line y equals 30 intersects this line here. Now if y was 30, then 2x plus 30 would be 70. 2x would be 40, and x would be equal to 20. So a is the point 20, 30. So we can write that in pretty easily, 20, 30. Okay, and we can do 10 times 20 plus 4 times 30, and we get ourselves uh, 320 minutes. Okay, point B. How could we find point B? That's clearly when y equals 30 and x is 60. So it's 60... 30 this time, and we substitute in 60 and 30, and we get for B 720 minutes. So far, the minimum uh, out of the ones we've tested is this one. Then we go to point C. Point C is here. Clearly, X is 60 here, and it intersects this line here, Y equals a fifth X. So if X is 60, a fifth times 60 is 12, so this point here would be equal to 60 across and 12 uh, up. So point C is 60, 12, and we substitute those in there, and we get 648 minutes. And we're going to keep going like this, and we're going to find point D and E. Now point D and E are going to be the hardest. Point D uh, is where... Uh, y is a fifth x intersects with 4x plus 5y is 20. So we might have to do some working for that. So for point D, for point D, that's where y equals a fifth x and um, 4x plus 5y equals 200 intersect. So where 4x plus 5y equals 200 intersect. 
That's where you solve these simultaneously. So what we can do is we can substitute y as a fifth x in here, into here, and 5 times a fifth x would be 1x, so we would get 5x is equal to 200, x would therefore be equal to 40, and if x is equal to 40, we find y, y would be 40 divided by 5, which would be 8. So we find those points pretty easily, it's 40 and 8, and we sub them up here, and we get ourselves 432 minutes. And lastly, point E, if we're trying to find point E, that's where uh, the line 2x plus y equals 70 intersects 4x plus 5y is 200. So that's where 4x plus 5y equals 200 and 2x plus y equals 70, where they intersect. So um, there are several ways of doing it. You could double this equation here, so it's 4x plus 2y equals 140 and 4x plus 5y equals 200. Then you could subtract the equations to get 3y is equal to 60, y is 20, and when y is 20 you sub it back in here and I think you get that x is equal to 25. So therefore the last point is 25, 20, and if you sub in 25 and 20 here, you get 330 minutes. So if we're trying to minimise it, clearly this one's the minimum. So the answer to this question, therefore, you would therefore produce 20 celebrations arrangements, 30 party arrangements, and taking 320 minutes. And we've answered this question here. If you look back, we've uh, done point tests and we found the total time it would take, and we're done.